Aye, so in this guide we're going to go through just putting some meshes together that already exist in game as a new camp clothing and a new armour and the basics of the armour file and the treasure table and then the one time rewards as well. So first what we will do is find a template to base ours off, so first we need to click load. This guide does presume you already got your projects ready and open. For a level we want to use basic level A which will come up like this and show one of the companions. Okay. They usually come up under arm. Okay, we can use that as a base. So create inherited from selected. This is so if anything would get updated that we do not edit, then it'll still inherit it from the original mesh or root template. Okay, um uh, camp guide because it's making camp and armor. Uh, let's use a camp one as a base for the camp version, even though you can technically use both to create. Right, show us the shorthand. No, camp. There we go. So you can see they've got all the companion ones as well. Let's go with that one. It's inherited. So camp guide, just probably making it this guide. I'll go down here, get rid of the filter, and then we should have our both ones. Okay. If it does something like this sometimes switching between inheritance and item view undoes it, like here. It's just because another item gets selected at the same time, so that's just a way to deselect it. Okay, display name, guide, armor. This is where you put in the name that gets shown in game. Display, description law is what gets shown as the description in game. This is a armor put together for a guide, just easy description. Okay, let's have a look through everything else. So this is where we could assign a colour preset, we can also assign colours in the area where we also select armors. so go through both of those. So you could test some colour presets in there and then go, okay, yeah, I want them with no edits and then select it here, which we'll do in a second. So this shows the sleeveless version, which is this, this visual resource ID links to the um, on the floor object. If you're using your own meshes, right now the visual resource, let's see if I can get an example. Bounds, min and max, they're coming in as 0, 0, 0, which causes them to be invisible when we place them on the ground in game. So if you are using custom meshes, make sure to use Elslib. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Convert your LSF of your visual resource to LSX. Edit the bounds max and min to a non-zero value and then convert it back to LSF and then reload your project and then it should show up on the floor. Okay, after that tip, now we'll go back to the root template stuff. So if you've got a custom icon, this is where you can choose it or you find an icon that looks more similar to the item that you're using, if only using vanilla assets. Maximum stack amount, so you can actually change how many of the item stacks. Obviously the default in the game for clothing and stuff is one, but you could actually alter this so if you get more than one of the yours. It stacks. 
Yeah. For example, automatically splits to a second stack after 99 potatoes. But um, probably best to keep that at one. I've not actually tested that in game. Okay. And that's the stats that leads to it. So that would be our arm file here. We'd link that there as well as here. Which we can actually link these up since we've already made them. Um, should have added my prefix to it. Would have made it easier. So I, I suggest normally to add a prefix so it's easy to find. I mean, the fact that I've called it guide has made it easier to find. So that's luckily on that one. Um, okay. Come back to this in a bit. Just we want to link it up already in the. Okay, let's pin this so I can link a little bit easier. Don't need to be as big. Copy name. Copy name. Okay. Save that again. Control S or use the save icon here. If you've got more than one that needs saving, you can press the save all button there. Yeah, I've got this open pretty wide. Let's just Okay, and then we'll go back to here. Come back up to the top. Okay, so stats guide. We want to link it to the other one. So this one, might as well do these at the same time. Guide, guide. Okay. Stats, treasure, no, because it's not container. Okay. That's that bit. Okay, now we've got to find the equipment. Which we can do easier. Oops. Helps if I spell it correctly. Equipment data. Sometimes it takes a while to load this screen. Okay, now we can see that they're wearing the human um, arm barbarian pants and body. So if we'd unselect that, it would unselect that and we'd go through each body type and race to give them similar if they don't have the same exact same outfit which end up choosing or exactly the same. Don't need that showing because we're not adding a helmet. Okay, sadly right now these icons are not showing up. Uh, let's make it plate. Oh, there we go. Okay. Let's say that's what I want to go with. So... Watch C pants. Let's see if I can...
Okay, let's go back to mail. Um, breastplate A0. Easier body. Oops. <laughs> yeah, if you just double click down here, it removes it from the top as well. Not so far looking naturally. Pretty decent. Cross them all. Oh, that one gets a bit of clipping. We get clipping. Oh no. Okay, so this is one where I would then take it into Blender and bring that out a bit. So it's an alt version for this top. Okay, so if I would have to edit these, I'd have to edit the human female strong, which would then work for half arc and human female. Give Yankee male and female, which is again very minor edits. Dwarf female as well. Halfling male, halfling female. Gnome came out pretty well. Yeah, so technically if I was going by the characters I play, I'd be making it for Gnome, Dragonborn, and probably Githyanki. As they're the main ones I play. I mean, I do try and make it for everyone, but... Oh, I'll put it in a date later on, where I fix the other ones. Okay. So here, you can see it's using the... Barbarian preset. Okay, that looks pretty cool. That's blue. Mm, it's more of a purpley blue, in my opinion. Oh, that's nice. But similar to making dies this bit, then you can actually save the preset if you want to use it. For more than one outfit. What I would like to do is make contrast in the metals. Yeah, it's more like that. So then, if I'd want to save it as a preset, I'll put it here and call it, well for this uh, guide let's just call it that and then, yes, we save go off that go up here guide and set it here oops I accidentally named my uh, camp outfit guide armor <laughs> uh, camp clothing um, camp outfit together for a guide. Okay. Description. Make sure it's set to guide. Yep. And then we want to edit 
this one equipment data again. So now the cars have changed this, so draw. Go through these items. Oops. Sort of that, so we can use that as an icon. Okay. Stats. Okay, this is where we would then give it stats. This tells it that it's the camp body. So if I wanted that to also be an armor, I would make a duplicate of it and then give it the parent that's most suited, which would be one of these shared ones. I'm not going to go too much detail into all of these. Default value gets placed onto the item based on rarity and stuff like that. Um, not that one, isn't it? Oh, yeah, common. Okay, so you'd want to give it some here or uncommon. You want to go up higher. And then if you want to put a spell on there or passive, then you find the applicable column. So like passes on equip. So I would go to stats of shared armor. Make it the same. Um, hide all. And then show passes on equip just so I can see them easier the name possibly root template there is okay so I'd find something similar well something I know from in game might even be an item from another pack. Say if I wanted this, I'd go over copy, control C, and apply it in here. But not that one, that one. I mean, you can actually apply passives to camp outfits as well. So if you want to give anyone an extra bonus, you want to give them a spell. So let's bring up spells. Don't think any of these on here will have any. No. So, shared dev, stats, armor. So we can see a little bit more things here, like a dazzling passive, immunity passive. Might find more in Gustav. Yep. So, stealthy, hag mask. Don't think any of these have got spells, so we can probably ignore that on our armors. The main thing is comparing it to existing files to get any 
extra information you want on here. Okay, now this is where I drag this. Oops. Oh, it's because I've added, still got that pinned. Okay, into here. So I can copy these a bit easier. So I've, they're actually going to upload these bases I had to begin with to my Nexus Mods um, tutorial and resources page. So you can already have the start of the I underscore one one frequency one. So the basic of this. Now, if you'd made a good container, you would name this after your containers um, tutorial, uh, not tutorial, treasure table name. Okay. Now we want to one time reward. One time reward. So if we'd have a container, we would use that in here. But since we don't, we want to copy the grid of our items. Amount, we only want one. And then copy grid there as well. Copy and paste. And this now should spawn those two items in the traveler's chest in camp. And if you're playing multiplayer with someone, it'll spawn it for their traveler's chest as well, which I find pretty dandy. Okay, and if we want to test it, okay, it says save because we forgot to save something, which is a, another handy feature. Yep, so it was originally I think Lazel, but it's now staring because the toolkit crashed, which I had it quite for a long, uh, open for quite, quite a long time, so probably longer than it's intended to. Okay, so we was going to test the loading in here so we can first do it even before loading into game so F11 to get this up create guide one create one so this now will be in the inventory when I go into here actually it's auto equipped our armor Pretty cool. And it's equipped our clothing as well, camp clothing. Which looks pretty sweet like that as well. I might have to put these in one of my outfit packs. <laughs> Once I fix, fix some clipping. Okay, that's a basic, although a basic long guide on armor creation. If you want, you can test your pack after um, packing in project, project settings, publishing local. That means you do not have to upload to mod IO if you do not want to. I actually advise packing local first and testing in your game just to double check things and make sure that it's spawning correctly in the tutorial chest. I mean, you can do that also in here. Uh, load level should be Vernus. Is it Vernus? Yep. Tutorial of Vernus underscore C. And there we have them. They actually did spawn this time. 